About two months ago, I did a video where I played Splatoon 3 in other languages, and some of the words I had to read in those languages were wild. Y'all love that video, so I wanted to take a look at a few more languages that are available on the Switch. In addition to some European languages that we didn't look at last time, I also did a couple of Asian languages. And the fun part about the latter is the fact that I couldn't read a single symbol on the screen, so I had no clue how to pronounce them at all. So I got a couple close friends and professional translators to help me out, which you'll meet later in this video. Now, let's get into it. Hi, I'm Alphastar716. Or as they say in Italian, pizza. I had to check and see. You know I wasn't gonna be on this page without seeing the NZF85. I know the NZF85 is an IRL product, but that doesn't change the fact that it's just- That doesn't change the fact that it's still hilarious. Marker da Salto Neo and Marker da Salto. <laughs> it's just a flat out assault weapon. They're just not going around the bush here. Is the original spoof just called Marker? It's just called Marker. I think I found where the splash thing went. Splasher. All right, Splasher and Splasher logo. <laughs> <laughs> splash o -matic, I think the Tenetech stole both your kit and it stole your name. Okay, so I've got to go with Marker DeSalto here. It sounds like it packs a punch behind it, so I gotta go with it. Von Gogol. <laughs> Von Gogol. Okay, I need to see what that is right now. I'm probably butchering the way it's supposed to be sounded. Like, Von Gogol. I'm just supposed to say it like that, I guess? I don't know. I probably still put the enunciations in the wrong place. But that sounds like a Donkey Kong boss. That sounds like something you'd see at the end of Tropical Freeze. Von Gogol. <laughs> Lance okay, so it's Clam Blitz. Got it, got it. That makes a lot of, that Von Gogol, okay, that, that kind of makes sense. If you squint hard enough, it does. I realize I've committed the sin that I scream at so many others for doing. I'm using the splash on Mac and ranked. Time to get a free win, y'all. Well, I'm sorry, I need to call it what I need to call it by its proper name as long as I'm in Italian. The marker de assalto, I still cannot believe. Like, it has this kind of crack kit here. I actually don't know the names of the specials just yet, but I can't wait to figure them out here. Got all these guys out of here. They're down to two right now. What was that? Was that a bomb or something? The bomba splash. <laughs> I see. Pick up that other one. Why are you leaving that other one? They were two down, you fool! Nice, we finally score. Kudos to us. Thank God. Lancia nel sesto nemico. Wait, hold on. Uh. Oh shoot, I shouldn't have done this. In hindsight, this was a not smart idea. Rientro. I'm coming back in. I see now why people say my, my Spanish sounds Italian. Because admittedly, when I did Spanish, I tried to sound like a Spanish speaker. But the more I'm speaking Italian now, the more I'm like, you know what? Actually, when I speak Spanish, I think I put an Italian spin on it. You guys don't have a power clam, so even if you wanted to push, <laughs> you just... Uh, S rank is weird, King. S rank is very weird. Like, sometimes we have the power clam, but no one wants to push. Other times, we want to push but don't have a power clam it's just it's weird man it's just weird Pontegio 59 i'll take it it's the same thing in spanish where there's like a weird little degree symbol i'm pretty sure that's like that's what a hashtag would be in english or whatever but it's just weird that that exists <laughs> the viziera parasole the astorati mimitica the stivali da moto blue <laughs> Italian's fun, dude. Am I saying half of this probably very, very wrong? Yes, but it sounds so fun putting an Italian enunciation on this. It's so good. I love it. Okay, so we do have more shopkeepers in the Inkopolis Plaza DLC, so I want to check out what some of their names are here. Army, got it. <laughs> Not discreet at all. They very much do make weapons. Awesome. Oh, so there's Army and Andy. Got it. I thought it was going to be like Army and Gun. <laughs> and Nemonica. Okay, so Anemone. She's like a sea anemone. It makes sense. And then Remo, okay. Man, missed opportunity, Italian. You should have named him Nemo. Bim Bam Boom, 14 Mark 1. Oh my god. <laughs> I think I mainly spent time on the shooters when I was like looking through the weapons the first time. But the Chargers in their weapon classes, they also have some good things. They also have some good things as well. Like Tintubator down there for Gootuber. All right, well, Lini sounds like line. I'm guessing that has something to do with line. If spar means marker, another S tier language. That's all I got to say. I'm a simple man. I'm a simple man. All right, and as for the idols, we have St Stella. Marina, Penusia, and then Morena, and then Judd. You don't know how many comments I got saying Bazookarp is just Bazooka Carp. I, I know now. I know now. Whenever I see that in any other language now, I will very vividly know it's Bazooka Carp. English is the outlier. I get it now. I get the pun now. <laughs> you know what we're also gonna get now? Our next language. Wait just one second. There's been some foul play in these streets. So in the last video I did, I thought I was recording the one and only version of the French language. But something that the comment section in that video made clear was that there's actually two types of French on the 
switch. France is French, which is what I thought I was doing the first time, and Canadian French, mainly spoken in the province of Quebec. My sneaky neighbors to the north thought they could pull a fast one by stealing some extra screen time and getting away with it. Not today. Just because y'all are the home of Justin Bieber, Jim Carrey, and Ryan Reynolds doesn't mean you can just do whatever you want, you poutine posers. Now, let's go to the other version of French. I really drag the entire country for speaking French, even though like 90% of Canada's other provinces speak English more. So right now I'm in the European region right now. So this should be, this should be Francis French. Um, we have Parc Carapince, we have Menta Maria, Reservoir Rigadel, Galleries Guppy, we have Supermarché Cetace, and we have Excuse me? Club Cachalot? But okay, I, I might have said that wrong, sure. You can sc sue me for that one. But why is there a dollar sign there? <laughs> I know like in Quebec's version there is like Spacy Tassi, which is weird, but somehow France's French made it even sillier. Also, one more thing I gotta mention here, just one more thing. Doesn't France use Euros, not USD? <laughs> so this doesn't even make sense. Unless, okay, maybe that dollar sign could be used for something else in France. I don't know. Ah, here it is. So Erogun, Erogun, got it. You don't know how many French people I had, how many French subscribers I had in my comment section being like, Poosh Poosh Premium? We don't claim that one, cuz. <laughs> no matter when, no matter if we go to Quebec, no matter if we go to Montreal, or whether we go to Paris, we still get the same in Zap 85 no matter where we go. Constant trust or zoom. And then extra trust or extra seer plus zoom. I love how it's like the zoom comes packaged. Like, you have to put the scope on yourself. You have to order that separately. <laughs> Bad did you know? Bad is your nerve? It's bad to the bone, I'll say that much at least. What are the other splatlings called? We have the extra small version, we have the regular version, and then we just have the extra bougie version for the extra bougie French peeps out there. Just to pay <laughs> pay homage to the Poosh Poosh Premium, not Erogun, in um, this part of the French language. Let me go ahead and rock with this, and we're gonna see how this does for us. Attention! C'est parti! Let's go! Vive la France! Let's go! Let's go, guys! Let's go! What the- What's happening over there? Come on! Who is that? Meat Beak! Let's go! <laughs> um, we're gonna throw that behind you to trap you a little bit here. There we go. Awesome. <laughs> we'll get you with that Booyah Bomb. I can't wait to see what Booyah Bomb actually is in French here. Sometimes I feel like I should look at the specials first, but if I get killed by them, I'll be able to see it then anyway. Alright, well, I- I can't wait to get counterpicked by these Proxy Blaster Neos. There's Proxy Blaster and there's the Proxy Blaster Neo. They got the whole family in here today. 2S Liquid A! Awesome! That actually sounds very weird. <laughs> in English, it's just you splatted the player, pretty simple. In French, it sounds like you liquefied them. You absolutely changed their state of matter. I mean, you do that, but <laughs> it just sounds so much more morbid and cruel in this version. I don't know where you think you're going. I cannot believe you killed me there. They were out here jumping. Okay, Billy, I see you, jeez. <laughs> oh, elimination? I don't like that. I like that. I don't like that. I think that's the first time across all languages I've seen a wipeout on our side. Can we get them out of here now? That will be awesome. I'm going to get these proxy blasters, though. Never mind. <laughs> when I saw two people swimming, I thought that was both the proxy blasters. It was not. It was It was the roller one of them, too. The Rulo Griffe. <laughs> Thermophobe de pas cum, cum piu? All right. Thermophobe. <laughs> I don't know why. That sounds like you're allergic to temperature. <laughs> a mildly hot day. It's like, <laughs> that's what you're afraid of. All right, let's see what some of the other things are called in French here before we move on. Decap Express Alpha? Oh my god. <laughs> I don't mind the word alpha in that gun. Sounds like you can decapitate someone with that. So most of these, again, stay the same as English. It's just they put the A, they put the E in front of the bomb. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I was going through like, oh, it's probably gonna have Bombay in front of everything, and then there's just mine. <laughs> okay, we idols. We have Ayo, Oloi, Pascal, Angie, and Mini Charbitre. Okay, I don't think I saw that one before. Okay, so in conclusion, French wasn't t the Francis French wasn't terribly different from Canadian French. It was a little differences here and there, but it wasn't like two completely different worlds. So I didn't miss out on a terrible amount. Now that we've righted the wrongs of the evil Canadian Empire and definitely not my own ignorance, I tried out some of the. Asian languages starting with Japanese. My Japanese vocabulary probably consists of a whole 12 words that I picked up from Attack on Titan, so I had help from one of our two guests to help me decipher this language. Konnichiwa, okay, you desu ka? Oh dear god. <laughs> <laughs> We're off to an amazing start. So our first guest for Japanese, a wonderful volunteer, we have the lovely Twitter artist herself, Sable. You just had to refer to me as a Twitter artist, this is crazy. Would you prefer YouTube creator? 
<laughs> That's not even accurate either. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> We're not gonna do every weapon because that would probably give you a stroke. So we can just go through some of the weapons you use, like Nautilus and some of the chargers. This is something I've realized going through all the languages too to help you out. NZAP 85 is NZAP 85 in Japanese. There's no attempt to localize it. Some of the like the names they gave her weapons are long as f mm -hmm. uh, Oh, my fault. <laughs> <laughs> For the Dark Tetra Dullies, it literally translates to Quad Hopper Black, but it's so long! <laughs> so like each letter, it represents a, a letter. Some will be A, E, U, E, O, and then some- I sound so f***ing American, I swear I'm not white, but um... <laughs> Do you see like the small smiley face like on the dark tetra dualies? Is it like the two dots and the crooked smile to the right of it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Instead of saying cuado, it's like cuado. So the enunciation's a little bit different. Okay. What is the blah blabber actually in Japanese? I see one of the crooked oh, smiley dear. faces on it. Oba furosha. It's basically to say like overflow and then slosher. Okay, got it. Yeah, because in Spanish it was because... dramatic baño, which was just overflowing bathtub. So. <laughs> That's basically what it was in Spanish, too, but Japanese sounds so much more articulate. It sounds articulate if you can say it properly without being, like... Oba uh... Frosha. Considering how much time we spent on the dark tetra dualies as you were just <laughs> laughing at these, <laughs> I'll bring these in, you can bring in whatever you like, and then we can just do a turf four, or, um, yeah, we just do a turf four. You remember, like, when the, this, like, this way button was, like, originally come on? That's literally, uh, JP, so... Come on, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's no. just come on. Oh, really? Okay, so it's even simpler yeah, than yeah, I yeah. it is. And then, uh, the booyah is just naisu, or nice. Mm-hmm. That's it. <gasps> Naisu! I know that from anime! Oh my gosh, we're good. <laughs> we're good. I'm, I'm gonna be perfect. The fun thing with Japanese, though, and this is the first thing you'll be confronted with, they don't change the startup. It's just ready. <laughs> and then, go! Yeah. They just didn't bother translating that at all. I know, like, when it says wipeout, they just add, like, extra exclamation marks, which I think is really funny. Like, you, when you type, you just add 10 oh. exclamation marks to it to really Stop! get the, to really <laughs> get the <laughs> emphasis home. <laughs> if at any point you do splat someone, let me know what splat it is in Japanese, too. Are you a Smiling at the, or the normal smiling at the Hydra. I'm a, I'm a heavy, yeah. Shinzo Wasasageyo in the middle. What? <laughs> Do not ask me what kanji that was. The booyah kanji or like something yeah. else? Oh, okay, I'm just gonna remember the naisu that you told me before we started here. Oh god, can you read that danger over the enemy team? Because so far it's looking good for- Okay, right now you're in danger oh, yeah. too from what I've seen. <laughs> <laughs> for the enemy team, when they're in danger, it says they're in a pinch. Pinchy. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think that's it. Umoramu Shindaru Vili. Go, 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 go. <laughs> that's the one. That's like my favorite phrase in Japanese, too. I know every single time I say it, I make you laugh, too. Probably because of how over exaggerated I make it. Do these read good guys and bad guys in Japanese, too? I did just... not read. Okay, I see. <laughs> I need to start asking you earlier, too. I know it can take you longer to read it. This is actually making for some good content here. I actually just got a new nickname here, so I want to see what. What on earth this says here? It's either gonna be exactly what I want, but odds oh. are it's probably gonna be something absolutely out of pocket. Ink fashionista or something like that. No, yeah, it literally translates to it. Or like, it reads out like, Ink shitataru fashionista. Oh, okay, nice. I could really make you suffer right now. I just got a mystery box that gave me three more nicknames. <laughs> I am not reading any of that! See, I would have been like probably so much better, but like during quarantine, I kind of stopped caring and I kind of regret it, but it's okay. I'm not completely dumb, so it's okay. <laughs> you still retain some stuff, which is good. They call me the retainer. I hardly know her. <laughs> Open up the room. I, I can't stand you. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Marie is, um, Otaru? Otaru? Otaru. Otaru. Oh, do. Okay, got it. Ru. Do. Ru. Oh, Ru! <laughs> <laughs> it took me like three different tries. I'm like, do, do, do. Like, why is it different? <laughs> oh, Otaru. Shiver is Fuka. Okay. Which is cute. Fuka. Yeah. Alright. I got that and first then... try. Look at me. I'm so proud of you. Wow. And then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you. Let's take the small victories. Fry is, uh. Utsuho? Utsuho. Oh, Utsuho. Okay, got it. Which is, it means uh, more eel, if I'm not wrong. Which is mm. actually cool. What she, what she uses in the Return of the Mailings thing comes all the way around. Wow, wow. Well, if that's all, then I believe we can go ahead and go to the next language. Onyonaseyo, hello. Onyonaseyo, chanchonaseyo. 
Uh-huh. For our last guest for this video here, ending it off with the amazing Korean language, we have Splatoon YouTuber and professional competitive player that participated in a, participated in a tournament a couple <laughs> weeks ago, a Squidman. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. <laughs> Do you want to bring up the weapon that you used in the tournament? We can start with the Blah Blobber if you want, if you know that in Korean anyway. Oh, bubble lo. Oh, oh bubble slow. Okay. Like the bubbler slosher, and they just use like a slow sound for slosher. Like if you look at the first little section of oh bubble slow, there's a ring and then like a flat line and an up. The ring means an empty space or an eung if it's at the end. And then the upward is oh. I've noticed I've went through like seven, eight languages so far, and I've noticed Korean is the only one where the font is smaller too. Yeah, they go out of the way to make some stuff uh longer. What the heck is this? <laughs> Do you know what the big swig actually is? In Korean? Well, I know because one of my students told me. A lot of the names they pull from either English or Japanese, but this one is Wide Rora. <laughs> Very simple, just wide roller. <laughs> the Rhoda is the L and R character, like stacked three times, basically. I think I see like two twos and then a line and then like a horizontal line and then some two like twos. Two yeah, it. two twos and then a two off to the side. It's on brand. It comes all the way around. Yeah. <laughs> if you look at the end zaps, it's the exact same as the English one. The end zap has stayed the exact same for every single language I've went to. That's the only sense of consistency I've had throughout these languages. That's my base. Okay, but I can open you up pop. a turf four lobby here, and then after that, uh, well, I'll go with Big Swig, and then you can go with whatever you please. What's actually weird in control slash they're in control in Korean? Because that'll probably flash a lot on. Flounder Heights flat zones. It's really large. Ooh, that is that is quite long. Yep, and that's nice and big. <laughs> that is quite. Oh god. Oh yeah. I'm not gonna know that at all. There. The last two words of that are like area and probably control. Mm -hmm. So they're in control of the zone, basically. Yeah, I'm not awake for that. <laughs> it's completely <laughs> fine. We're just memeing around. Listen, I'm using white the world over here, and whatever the equivalent of I'm is sorry, bad, I wish I could call it in Korean. Uh oh. You you know what Wumi is in Korean? No, actually, I do not. Mon Min Min. That sounds cute. Mon Min Min? Mon Min Min. Mon Min Min Min. Okay. Mon Min Min. Every time you kill someone, it's like, I don't. You slaughtered the person? <laughs> I'm just big swigging all over their big wide roller, excuse me, all over their zone. Pardon me if I'm I do on, rush uh, the enunciation at any point though. <laughs> it's just me trying yeah, to. It's probably us. better if you do so. Yeah. Nice, we get it. Nice. Uh... We won't be able to see it this video, but what does knockout actually mean in Korean? Knockout. Oh, okay, just simple then. Just in Korean. Link area, Jong Song Yu, Yuji number one. Yeah, the, the, nice and long there. Dear God, I don't even want to dare read the things that I had. <laughs> Once I get the alphabet down, knowing that a good chunk of it's just very differently enunciated English, then um, I feel like it wouldn't be terrible to at least start to learn. Explosha. Explosha. It's explosion, but just like in Hangul. Exploro. Did you add another syllable? Explorosha? It's ek. X is one syllable. X plosha. X plosha. It's more funny just listening to you trying to pronounce these, but I already really struggle with it's like, hey. Oh, and actually, a very important question for the angle marker. Does it somewhat translate to marker? Not shooter, but marker or ricochet or something like that. You know what it says? What does it say? There are four syllables. La in marker. La in marker. Yes! La in marker. Yes! Everything is better than English. I love it. It's awesome. And actually, what are some of the idols actually while we're getting down here? So, Cali, I have Cali, Marie, Shiver, and Fry. So, what are those? Which one is Cali? Hotaru. Okay, Hotaru. Uh, uh, yes, Hime, which means princess. Okay. Should be Pearl. Cuttlefish is Malu Jingo. Which is a play on the like, Ojinga is squid. Fun fact, Ojinga also means kind of like ugly. And so when I was yeah. first learning Korean, I introduced myself to my Korean teachers like, Annyeong, nanin Ojinga yeo. Hi, I'm ugly. <laughs> you really went in saying I'm ugly and I'm proud. <laughs> in there. I'm like scared I'm pronouncing these wrong and then you just butcher it more. One American is kind of okay. The other American has no idea. 
<laughs> We're sorry, Korea. <laughs> Do you have you memorized the pathway to changing your switch back to English? Oh, yes, of course. I've, I've done it several different times now, so I'll be good. <laughs> and I'm gonna keep all of this Korean in mind for a solid probably five minutes until I get into editing and then it gets burned in my head. Another few languages down and a couple more neat things learned. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out Sapo and Squimnaz. The latter half of this video wouldn't exist without their help. And of course, remember to leave a like and subscribe to Star 716 for more content on Splatoon 3 and other things gaming. I'll see you all next time.